from the mind and the body inside and out. We're really looking at that whole holistic to really rebalance these imbalanced lives that we're living. Your brain needs downtime, right? You need to calm your amygdala, which impacts the rest of your body. The tranquil music, time to relax, you know, just really be able to focus on myself and not my family and anything else that I'm worrying about at the moment. What we find is that when clients come in, the front desk girls are really good at interacting and asking questions about what's going on for the client. I gave myself whiplash skiing one time and came in and was able to walk out and move my neck again. So, you know, things like that, just, you know, sometimes just getting that relaxation that you need, a little bit of relief. But seeing those, those measurable changes in people's lives that have the most effect on people. We are ranging from not just massage, but a whole array of therapeutic and holistic services to ensure that we're looking at the whole mind and body. The most popular would probably just be the regular therapeutic massage, 55 minute. So if somebody comes in and they want a full body relaxation massage, I can do that. If they come in and they like, uh, are complaining about their shoulders being sore because they work at a computer, I can just focus on the shoulders for an hour. So everything is specifically tied to what the person needs or what they want. Then we have um, facials as well, um, but we've recently added acupuncture. We have an occupational therapist that comes in and does myofascial release. We also have hypnotherapy. The other things that we've just started to launch is we've partnered with a company called Ula. We're able to now offer our clients products and programs and life coaching so that people can really live their best lives. I am a British person that is truly living the American dream. She's just so, such an amazing person. She is so supportive of our community. You see her a lot. She is very involved, very active. I came over in 2007 um, and I actually was a client here. Then I got my green card, so I ended up working on the front desk as a receptionist. If I wanted to try to do something different, you know, a different modality or anything like that, she is supportive of it and she will help guide it along. And I actually went and became a massage therapist and then I actually bought the studio. So I've really come full circle. It's up to me to take care of my own mental wellness. And so coming here and being committed to that um, commitment to myself. I think when you build a good relationship with a massage therapist, it can improve your life quite a bit. It's the longevity and the commitment that they have to Sandstone, but to their clients. That's the key thing. In order to move forward in one's life or improve our health, we have to be honest with ourselves first, but that takes trust. It's the nurturing, but supportive, um, and yeah, just all-encompassing, all-embracing, no matter who you are.